No problem, no problem. I don't understand. La voy a enviar a otro grupo para que esté como oyente y voy a enviar a Xiomara a otro grupo para que practique, ¿ok? No problem. Okay. I I take the practice with with her. Okay, 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 let's see. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's do it. The conversation. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me share with you. So we can do it from here. Okay. Uh, Edwin Alberto and Magdaleno. Edwin, you ready? Okay. 
I already did. Okay, you and Magdaleno. Let's see, Edwin, you start. Okay. Hi, Emmy. How is it going? Hello, brother. I am fine. And you? I'm I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, brother? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, Ingrid and Carla. Who is star teacher? Uh, you, Ingrid. Okay. Hi, Annie. How it's going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't call me boss, call him or her. And when the person returns, her or she receive, receive a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Will be called. Oh, no, pardon. I, I understand. If you see you was tomorrow, explain in the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Very well done. Excellent. Antonio Rodas and Ivania. Who is that, teacher? Okay. Uh, let's see, give me just a second. Antonio, you start. Hi, Annie. How is going? Hello, bro. I am fine with you. I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, I son doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she will say a notification or warning for that. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain kind of situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Receives. Ivania receives. Receives. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Ivan and Wilfredo. Ready, guys? Ready. I start. Wilfredo, you start. Okay. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Bram. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. Uh, to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone does come, my boss call him or her and went to the person return. He already received a notification or warning. Why, Bran? Well, well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him these situations. Yeah, I think I will that, do that. Thanks, Annie. 
Okay. Receives. Receives. Show up. Show up. Okay. Show up. Show what? Thank you, guys. Gabriel Beltran and Karen Beatriz. Ready, guys? Yes. Let's see. Gabriel, you ready? Okay. Hi, okay. Annie. Okay. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what to let your boss do when a worker does come to work. Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, I think I will do that. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Let's see. Luis Antonio and Oscar, you ready? Ready. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, Luis Antonio, you start. Okay. Hi, Annie. How's it going? Hello, bro. I am fine, and you? I am okay. Thanks. I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a work doesn't come to work? Well, if someone does not uh, come, my boss calling him or her, and when the person returns, her or they receive a notification or warning, why, brother? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Okay. Yeah. I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, perfect. Sorry, guys, to interrupt. Very well done. Excellent. Now let's see. Carlos, Elivaldo, and Veronica. You ready, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, Carlos, you start. Okay. Hi, Annie. What is it going? Hello, bra. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does you boss do when I work in the dance dancer come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Wait, because I didn't show, show how to work today? I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yes, I think I will do that. Tell. Thank you, Stanley. Okay, perfect. Receives, receives. Now let's see, uh, mailing. Can you? Chiamara, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Xiomara, you and me, me and you. Okay, okay let's see. Uh, I will start. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine, and you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, 
What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him on her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why that? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, now. How to use if and when to join clauses. When, when and if have similar meaning. We use when for usual situation and if for unusual situations. Both clauses have to be in simple present. Use a comma when if or when come at the beginning. What do you do when you forget your tool for work? I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. When I forget my tools, I ask for backup set. Okay. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Now, look at something here. In this case, we have to close it. Let me explain it another way. Let's talk a little bit first. Vamos a hablar un poquito. Okay. Conditional sentences. You know that we have, uh, when we talk about conditional sentences, we are talking about dependent sentences. Okay. We are talking about dependent sentences. What's that? Hablamos de oraciones dependientes. They cannot be independent of each other. I mean, they need each other. Conditional sentences are expressed, uh, are easy to identify because they always have the word if. Okay. They always have the word. What does it mean? It means see, but it's not an affirmation. It's not affirmative. It expresses a condition. Okay. That it always precedes the condition. And if we have a condition, of course, we will have a result. Right? It's very interesting here because we say uh, the explanation says that you have if and you have when, they have similar meaning. Yes, we do. But when we use if, it's something unusual, something that doesn't happen every day. When you use when, it's something that happens once in a while. When you forget the tools, uh, like Magdaleno, what do you do when, oh, when somebody from your from your community uh, has lost a relative. You as a guy, what do you do when you face that situation? I, I, I go to him, him or her house. Okay. And you go visit. Them. Okay, you give support. Yeah, I give support now. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, if you notice, I ask him, what do you do when a member of his community has lost a relative? And he told me, I go present. Okay? When we use the, the condition can be used in this case, like, what do you do if a person from your community lost, lost a relative? And he goes, oh, I go to his house and he provides support, okay? So if you notice, the result is in present. 
we got the condition and the result in present. We are stating a fact. Estamos dando un hecho, una verdad. Okay? So, usually we got four type of condition. This is called the zero condition. Okay? Este, esta condicional se llama zero condition. Okay? And it's very, very interesting. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, well, this happens to me. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, let's try like this. So I was telling you that this is called the zero condition. Okay. And as I was telling you, this one is used to express cause effect, simple. In situations that are always true, as simple as that, okay? Es así de simple. Las condicional cero nos expresa causa y efecto en hechos que siempre son verdaderos. Or also is used to give instructions. Okay. If the machine starts making noise, shut it off. Si la máquina comienza a hacer ruidos, apague. Okay. If the car starts overheating, shut it off and wait and put water. Cause effect. Instruction. Okay. That's when you use the zero condition. There are four types of conditional, as I was explaining to you. The zero conditional, that is, so effect, things that are always true. The first conditional, that is the future possible, that if something happens in the future, the result will be seen in the, if something happens in the present, the result can be seen in the future. Like if I, if I have a problem, I will call, if I have a problem with my, uh, with my account, I will call Ivan for help, you see? If I have problems with my car, I will give a holder to Wilfredo. To give a holder, it's an informal way to say, I will call, okay? And that's the first conditional. The second conditional is present on real. That's weird. It's a little bit weird for us to, 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 to understand, but actually we use it. Like, if I were you, I would pay attention to this topic. Si yo fuese ustedes, le pondría atención a este tema. Something like that. Uh, expresses something unreal. That's called present unreal. Okay. That's the second type of condition. And the third type of conditional is the past unreal. If the condition has been true in the past, the result will have been true in another moment of the past. Si la condicional se hubiese cumplido en el pasado, el resultado se habría visto en el pasado. Like, if I had a study for the exam, I will have approved. Si hubiese estudiado para el exam, habría aprobado. That's the third type of condition. You will see all the conditionals in different uh, stages of your English class. Don't worry. Lo van a ver a lo largo de la clase. But I just wanted you to get, like, the general idea. Okay. Right now, we are going to focus just on the zero condition. 
Zero conditional, I repeat, expresses something that is always true. Okay? Facts or also to give instructions. Now, I will go to the board to explain the structure. Vamos a ir a la pizarra para explicar la estructura. Is that okay? Any question? No questions. Okay. I know that, let's see, this is basic five. Or, yeah, you have already seen conditions. Ya han visto condicional. But it's always good to make a review of this grammar point. Let's, okay, first of all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have conditional thinking. Conditional sentences. Remember, we have a condition and a result. Okay? We have a condition and a result. That's why we have conditional clause. And also we have result clause. The conditional clause is also called if, I'm sorry, this one is also known as the if clause. Okay. And se le conoce como la if clause. Now, remember, they cannot be separated. You need the condition to have the result. If you have the result, you need to know the condition. Now, the zero condition. What do we express with the zero conditional? Okay, we express fact. Something that is always true. And we also express uh, I'm sorry, we also express instructions. Okay, those are the things that we express using the zero condition. We express fact or we express sorry instructions. Okay, now the zero condition. Remember, we have a conditional clause. And we have a result clause. The conditional clause is in simple present. Well, actually, it's if plus simple present. And the result clause, it's also in simple press. If you study hard, comma, you get good Grades. Now, if you notice, we have the element R. In the condition, you have if. You have then the 
the simple present. And then in the result, you have the simple present again. Look, this sentence is in simple present. This sentence is also in simple present. Now, it's very important for us to remember something that the conditional clause will always start with the particle if. Now, the sentence can start the other way around. Look, you get your grades if you study hard. Something very interesting in this, look, when you start the sentence with the conditional clause, you divide the clauses with a comma, okay? This comma is mandatory. This one right here, okay? But if you start the sentence with the result clause, no comma, okay? If you start with the condition, you divide them with a comma. If you start with the result, there's no comma. Questions, guys? No? Okay. Perfect. And remember that we also use it to give instructions. If the machine no weird, you have to shut it off. This is an instruction, right? If the machine starts smelling weird, you have to shut it off. If the machine starts smelling weird, shut it off. It's going to burn. This is an instruction. Okay? So you express fact or something that is always true, and you get instructions also. Questions? Okay. Want me to share the, 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 the screen? Quieren que les comparta la pantalla? What do we have there? Por favor. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. No problem, no problem. Give me just a second to get it ready for you. There you go. It's very simple, right? Well, it looks simple like that. Así te mira bien. And it is easy. Because it's your simple present. Remember something that is true. Like, uh, like uh, 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 Carla, you know that if you don't bring your umbrella, you'll get wet. Right? And if you get wet, you get sick. I told you, right? It's like, uh, Ivan, if you don't have a calculator, you don't work. Ivan works with numbers every day. He needs a calculator. Wilfredo, if you don't have your tools, you cannot work, right? Si no tiene sus herramientas, no puede trabajar. As simple as that. Ingrid, if, well, Ingrid knows already. Ingrid ya sabe. If she wants not to waste that much time, she needs to take a direct flight. Si no quiere perder mucho tiempo, necesito tomar un vuelo directo. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be terrible. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happens, she said. That happens. <laughs> yes. Okay, questions about this conditional? Okay, so. no teacher. Perfect. Okay. You don't think so. Uh the good time. You guys are going to create me a short conversation, very short. I want in that conversation at least two conditional. Okay. At least two conditionals. You can use either if or when. Okay. But at least two conditionals in that conversation. You're going to be working in small groups, groups of three members. Let me recreate the group. You will have four minutes to create the conversation because then we come back here and you pretend to the class, okay? So you gotta use at least two conditions, okay? Let's see. Perfect.
No, o sea. Ready, okay, guys? Teacher. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. In 60 seconds, okay. we go back and you present it, okay? Okay. We, we... Nos falta una. ¿Cómo se dice eso? We are missing one. Hurry up. 60 seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, of course. Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. Ready for the conversation? Yeah, I'm ready, teacher. Okay, excellent, excellent. In a few seconds, we'll do it. Okay, okay. Okay, everybody's coming back right about now. Okay, guys, let's see who's gonna start. It's free. Who wants to start? Okay, teacher with Caroline. Okay, Caroline is the volunteer. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Voy a enviar aquí que solo conversación porque no me acuerdo cómo pusimos, pero la vamos a poner aquí That's chat. fine, that's fine, that's fine. Ok, un momento, teacher. No problem, no problem. Ok, la voy a decir ahorita, sería Hello, Ivan. If Carla going to gym, you should go with me. If you don't want to go with me, just tell me. Ahí le envié. Okay. Hello, Ivan. If Carla goes, goes, si está bien. goes. Why? Because remember that the condition and the result is in present. Ah, go. If Carla oh, goes okay, okay. to the gym, you should go with me. Mm. Okay, teacher. We need to erase the should. You go should. with me. Yes, uh, not should in this case. Why? Because condition and uh, result is in present. Okay. No, no, it's okay. You can use should. We, you can use should. I'm sorry. You can use it. Okay, it's kind of cool. You should go. Sí, a You express a present possibility. It's okay. Should this use also to express a present possibility? That's fine. If you don't want to go with me, just tell me. Oh, come on, you. that's very strong. Excellent, thank you. Okay, Magdaleno, I know you are ready. You and who was your partner? Okay, my partner is Luis. Okay, do it. Okay, um, only we have a, a dual correct in Luis' part. And uh, yes, because if I don't study, I get bad grades. It's, yeah, it's that's perfect. Correct. Yeah. And the second is, of course, you get bad grades if you don't study. That's great. That is the two um, conditional sentences. And Excellent. you have. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay, um, teacher. Tenemos que hacer un diálogo, no? Yeah. If you got it okay. in a conversation, that's better. Please okay. present. Luis, are you here? <laughs> okay. Corrió ahí lo que lo que mencionaba. En lugar de yep. I'm getting, Ponga, I get, I get bad grades. Grades. I get, okay, bad grades. Okay, okay. esa sería su última parte. Comencemos. 
Listo. Ready? Ok. Yes. Hello, Luis. Hello, Madalena. Uh, how is it going? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. So I want to ask you, do you have a started for tomorrow presentation? Yes, because if not studying, I am um, get bad grades. Of course, you get bad grades if you don't study. Okay, oh, just one teacher. correction. Just one correction. Have you studied? Have you studied? Uh, have, you studied? That, have you studied? Studied. Yeah. Studied. Have you studied? Have you studied? Okay. Has estudiado? Have you? No, do you? It's have you? Did you study? Uh, it's just the way you think. You can say, did you study? But when you say, did you study? You're expressing a situation that is finished. Mm -hmm. And right now you are talking about the exam that is for tomorrow. So the moment has not come yet. Perhaps have he you. still has chance to study, okay? So in this case, okay. have you studied? Because he, have he could have answered, he could have answered. Oh, no, I haven't, but I will study after this class. You see? It's a possible answer. Yeah. It's okay. So you, 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 leave open a, you leave open a, 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 a space. In the case that you say, did you study? It's different. Like, did you study for the exam? And you say, no, I didn't. And there's no more time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, okay. don't worry the rest of you. Tomorrow, I will remember this activity, okay? No me preocupen el resto. Mañana yo me acuerdo esta actividad, okay? Because it's time. So I know that Wilfredo was like, man, I want to participate today. Don't worry, Wilfredo, tomorrow you can do it, okay? And Wilfredo yeah, was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoy it. As I told you, this topic is, for me, is very interesting. Believe me, this topic is quite interesting. And it's very useful because actually we speak like that. But regretfully, the time has come and you need to go rest. Let me get the final attendance, guys. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Present. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Good night. Ivan, have a good night. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Ivani Echamile Dominguez Hernández. Present. Y Beth Lisette Figueroa de Calle. Karen Beatriz Moratalla Segovia. Carla Lizet García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Present Mailin teacher. Janet Manzano Montoya. Thank you, Magdalena. Present. Thank you, Mailin. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Thank you, Xiomara. Appreciate it. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, too. Bye, 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 everybody. Ah, uh -huh. Carla, 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 Carla. Aquí estoy. <laughs>
Okay, you got a problem with the final exam, right? Yes. And um, the section that is giving you problems is? A little, a little. Let's see. Part, which part? Part one, um, two, three, four? Uh, one, uh, love five. And four and the five. secretary, yes. The secretary okay. make, you know, copy. No, the secretary has made. Making, no. No, like this, look in the Zoom chat. <clears throat> Can you see the chat from Zoom? Ah, pardon. Ah, you're watching the cell phone. Mm -hmm. um, it's present perfect. The secretary has made enough okay. copies of the report. La secretaria ha hecho. Me sale mal. Ah, ya me salió. Okay. Me estaba escribiendo mal una palabra. Okay. Yeah. And which is the other one that is giving you problems? ¿Cómo? Which is the other that is giving you problems? Number the Jane not unplug, you got it? No. In that one is like Jane has not unplugged. Yes, eso sí me salió bueno. Okay, perfect. Sí. Do you have any other problem? No, finish. Ya, yeah, ese era el único, el único que me está dando problema. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> so glad to be of help. Okay, ¿cómo? Okay, qué bueno haberle ayudado. Don't go, don't go, okay. don't go, don't go. Ya habíamos tenido la sesión uno a uno. Um, no. Okay, do you have a few seconds? Tiene unos minutitos. Sí. Okay, Mañana perfect. no voy a trabajar, así que. Ah, that's <laughs> nice. That's nice, that's nice. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna send you right now an address to your WhatsApp, okay? What you get there, it's a series of, what did I send you? Let's see, let's see, let me listening activities right okay okay now the only one that i don't recommend for you to do first is a day at school like another no recommend okay ahorita a day at school because it's a kill speaking it's un niño hablando, and that's a little bit difficult can you get to the second one a fun day okay, okay. Ok, me sale un listado. Ok, the second one. A fun day. Un día divertido. You got it? <coughs> sí. Ok. You got pre listening exercise, idioms, and then you got listening exercise, right? If you hit the play, si usted le da play, va a escuchar una conversación. Okay. En base a la conversación, va a escoger cada una de las opciones de acuerdo a la pregunta. Okay. Okay. Ahí le va a ir marcando <coughs> si está correcta o si está incorrecta. Luego, si usted se va un poquito más abajo, 
le da, le da un vocabulario práctico, le da un ejercicio. Puede hacerlo, aunque yo le recomendaría que primero se vaya al see listening script. ¿Lo encuentra abajo? ¿Dónde dice see listening script? Sí. Ok, si usted le da clic a eso, va a encontrar la conversa, va a encontrar nuevamente el audio y el script de toda la conversación. Entonces usted le da play y practica listening and reading. Okay. These type of exercises are going to help you to improve. Esos ejercicios le van a ayudar a mejorar. Reading okay. comprehension and listening comprehension. Usted va a mejorar en su lectura comprensiva y su entendimiento a la hora de escuchar. También le va a servir para que adquiera el nuevo vocabulario. Y la práctica de esos ejercicios le va a ayudar mucho. Yo le recomendaría uno, quizás dos en un día. No más, porque usted no tiene que dedicarle más de 5 a 10 minutos a esta actividad. Le explico por qué. Usted trabaja, recibe clases, tiene sus cosas en casa. I mean, you got a lot of stress. Si usted me dice, no, me va a contar media hora, 40 minutos. Realmente va a estar cansada y no lo va a aprovechar. Mientras que poquito, pero bien estudiado, no sirve más que mucho y que no me acuerdo de nada. ¿Gar? Okay. So that's the that's the objective. Ese es el objetivo. Okay. There you go. Ahí tiene mucho. Y cuando haya terminado el ejercicio, usted se va a. Oh my God, esto, esto. Cuando haya terminado, se va a donde dice back to easy quizzes. And you get all the exercise. Again. Y encuentra nuevamente el estado. Ah, uh, sí, sí. Okay, so it's very simple. <coughs> if you got any question, don't hesitate. Ask me. Si tiene alguna duda, no lo dude. Okay, está bien. Está bien. Okay. Sí, eso no lo, no lo sabía de sacar la conversación. Eso no, no. Yeah. Yeah, and it's good because, I mean, you can practice more. Puede mm. practicar más. Okay, está bien. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. No, a pleasure. Have a good night. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, and another beautiful class has finished. Well, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.